I please have a word with you? My conscience is saying, be a man, so I came up to you. I'm sorry to bother you in this nice and sunny afternoon, but I couldn't help it. I guess it's my temptations and my love's for wishing. But I'm human, I don't think all girls are hoes and I don't abuse them. Cause my belief system is totally different. Mama raised me different. Thought highly about women, cause they're the sisters of mother nature. And she ain't with that repelling. I'm not Jehovah Witness, but take your time to listen. Cause what I'm about to preach will cause you to come to conclusion that you won't settle for less or anything below your visions and dreams. Cause girl, you a star and a queen. Anything you put your mind to, you can't fulfill it. You're gorgeous on the inside out. Your love is contagious. Us men should be gracious that your creator did us a favor. We're sorry for the heartbreaks and misbehaviors. On behalf of all men, I would like to apologize. Even for the other guys that love to disguise just to tell your lies. Only want what's between your thighs. Then you start to realize that it's hard to find a good guy. No matter how much you try, it starts to kill you inside. But wipe those tears from your eyes. Same sex, don't you compromise. Don't you compromise. Or tell love goodbye. Cause words to the wise that love exists and it never died. It never dies, it never sleeps, and it's always on time. So stop that thinking that you'll always be a bridesmaid and never a bride. But tell me why, when the good men arrive, you push the good men aside. Or place him in the friend zone. Now he feels like he's wasting his time. Cause you can't open your eyes to perceive what and who he needs. Then when he moves on, cause the feelings are gone, you'll have no choice but to move on. Cause your dumb ass wasn't wrong. Welcome to the Spotlight Show. Here, your host Angie. One more time, just with so much joy, coming to introduce an spectacular artist, one that you still don't know yet, but it's gonna be the hot sensation for these upcoming years because this is what's up. This is what's hot. So, one more time, thank you. Thank you for being with us. To all our followers, the people that are always expecting of us to bring something new, something different, something that's totally out of the ordinary. I'm not going to be sure to say this time that who I have here on set is a one a special person. So let me introduce, actually let me allow him to introduce himself. So tell the audience your name and, um, and a little bit of yourself, your, your, your AKA name. Uh, my name is my real name is Kenzie Norville, but my AKA I go by Jeremiah Jazz. Uh, I'm a part of this group called uh, Block Poster Family. We have an Instagram, we have a Facebook as well. And if you want to hear some of our music, it's on uh, all the platforms, which is Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, you name it. Okay, fantastic. So I want to I want to thank you really for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Because uh, it's very important for us to bring forth truth and light yes. for people out there to learn more about what an artist is all about. Okay. So I I heard Jeremiah Jazz. So talk to me, why did you choose that uh, name as an artist? Uh, I chose the name because uh, it, it just stood out to me. Jeremiah, is he's actually a prophet in the Bible. Okay. Uh, I think it's a, in the book of, uh, it's either Nehemiah, if I'm not mistaken. And the jazz, I just love jazz music. I love the jazz instruments, which is uh, the saxophone, the trumpet, you know, a little bit of keys and, you know, a little bit of drums. I love that. And that's very passionate of yourself. And um, as, as we were uh, listening and watching into the introduction before we started up, um, we were actually watching Queen, which is um, one of his uh, videos and, and releases. Super, super spectacular song, the lyrics and everything, the message in it. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about that in a minute, but let me ask you something, uh, Jeremiah. What do you pursue as an artist? As an artist, I, I, I'm trying to pursue and letting my voice be heard. A lot of people are compromising in a lot of stuff, whether it's in their talents, whether it's in their gifts. Basically, a lot of people, especially when it comes to hip hop and you know, R&B and music, a lot of people, they know what good music is. But to put good music out there, they don't want to do it. It's either because the music, uh, the people won't relate to it, or it won't bring in a quick dollar. Mm. But as for for me, as a, as an artist, I want I want my voice to be heard. I want I want everything. I want everyone to know that you know you can do anything. You can put your real and true self out there without you know having the ex expectation of being judged or whatever. So in other words, what I'm listening is you're not afraid to tell what's in your mind and exactly. in your heart. Yes. And you want people to understand that an artist is all about the message and that passion exactly. thing that motivates you to actually write the lyrics. Yes. And with that being said, are you the one writing the lyrics? Yes, I am. Which is something that's super important because 
Um, nowadays, and we talked about this a lot, many, many artists are not writing their lyrics. Yes. They, they rap, they sing, they do their thing, but in reality, they're just singing somebody else's expression mm -hmm. of their mind and heart. And so, can that be truthful? What do you think about that? Uh, not really, because it's basically you're basically giving out or, you know, giving out or helping someone, somebody else's dream or somebody else's mm -hmm. vision. It's mm -hmm. not really your craft. It's, it's, not, not, your, it's not really it's not your craft. It's not truly from you. So, um, if, you, if you want to be really well known as an artist, what do you want people to, to, see, to say of you? Jeremiah just is, what, what is that one brand thing that you want to leave on people's hearts and minds? positive and leaving a positive outlook on a lot of stuff in life okay i love that i love that uh nowadays music uh, they they have a lot of negative impact exactly. into people and i think the lyrics ha have a lot to say because yes. the word is powerful is. and um going back to that word i want i want you to know that when i heard and watched your video uh queen uh, i was very much impressed Thank you. and it touched me really touched me and and so let's talk a little bit about that message because to me, as a woman, just hearing the men expressing the way that you did in that video is absolutely out of this world. Meaning that it's sensitive, meaning that it's, it's, it's totally into relating to the person right there and then. And so, why, why that message? Uh, that message is because um, I grew up in a single home. I grew up with my father. Uh, from since I was, you know, a little, a little person, a little, a little guy, and um, never grew up with a mom, so that affected me. And as as I grew up, I saw and I witnessed how women were being treated, mm -hmm. how my mom, how my dad was treating other women, or how in general how women were being treated. And the result of of that became catastrophic because I I, I saw a lot of things. I've seen women doing this, women taking revenge, women doing this, and two rights doesn't make a wrong. I've seen a lot of women being hurt, and basically I just want, I want to put a message out there, like, for all the women out there to just be yourself, and no matter what happens in life, always know your worth. Okay. Always know your worth. No matter what a guy has done you, no, no matter what life has brought you. That's really a beautiful message. I um, it really touched me in your in your song when when you actually advise the woman, you know, to stay true to herself, yes. and um, in other words, not to sell herself short. Short, exactly. Uh, in the sense of submitting to a man just because he represents security, yes, or something that it's apparent more into the materialistic side of of life. Um, so that was that was lovely, and I wish more artists out there we're able to actually express things like that and talk about real stuff in life, things that really matter not only to women, but matter to family, matter to children, matter to a lot yes. of people out there because that's what's important. The rhythm is fantastic in many, many songs, so it is in yours, but the reality is the message. That's what sticks uh, to someone's head most of the time. Why not going back to that of an, of an artist that actually uh, encompasses being an artist and, and bringing forth the real truth of life. Yes. So that is fantastic and I want to congratulate you on that and I hope you never deviate from that path whatsoever. I hope to be able to interview you here at the Spotlight Show uh, in years to come just for new releases and new stuff yes. that you do at a different level, higher level, more abundant and more, ex more expansive. I don't know why some of you ladies like guys run over top of you. They talk to you like you're nothing, okay? If that guy ain't got no respect for you, you can let him go. Yeah, there's someone that's out there. He's, he's perfect for you, and he's worthy of you. He's been looking for you. You're too busy because you to focus on what a man have. So you missed your boaz. Now you stressing. You miss your blessings. Now you asking questions. Never learned the lesson. Now all men are dogs. You start addressing. Because after the sex and you text them. But they never text you or return your message. Hope you learn your lesson. I hope you learn your lesson. And you will stop impressing the wrong man. The ones that drives the nice ass bands with the nice ass rims. I hope you learn your lesson. And you will stop the dressing for his attention. Because you ain't headed in a good direction. Queen, you ain't 
you're heading in a good direction You need to activate your mind is for your protection And teach the adolescents, you a queen so teach the lessons He ain't got to buy you or watch your necklace Make you feel like a blessing And fuck material possessions Yeah, yeah, cause I'ma tell you a little secret Some men only wanna sleep with you Maybe for a weekend or two I know cause I'm a man, I know what I'm saying Don't be sleeping on these niggas Six figures will make you a better person Don't you take heed to what they saying They conversating with other women <sighs> They conversating with other women I wish my sister get this message in You'll be texting in But we like the borders of the Mexicans We ain't seen each other for a long time Distant relative, she's always on my mind I pray she finds a guy who can provide her with all of her needs And if you love her, he'll get on his knees Bow down to the queen Cause homies, you ain't never seen a crack fiend on my team That's my sister and I will go Wolverine for this queen Yeah, yeah. You're a queen, man, you're a queen yeah.